Hey everyone, welcome back to another Costco haul on this channel. My previous Costco haul got a lot of positive feedback from you guys, so I did want to share another one. We get the majority of our groceries from Costco, so we typically end up going about two times a month. One time of the month is to stock up on like say meats and cheeses, vegetables, things that we kind of go through on the regular throughout the month. And then the second time that we go is just kind of a filler trip. So this is actually the major trip. We needed lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, lots of meats, lots of dairy products, not so much snacks or anything else and it's actually you guys just basically a food haul it might be kind of boring to some of you but I did post on my Instagram and you guys did want to see it I also am going to show you guys how I store and organize all of our groceries and you're going to watch me put them all away so let's jump in and get started we use vegetables a lot for cooking as side dishes on salads for entertaining so i did want to pick up a lot of vegetables in this specific haul so i picked up some cucumbers i picked up some carrots i picked up some celery some broccoli some peas some tomatoes we also, when we do entertaining with our friends and family, we usually like to set outside a veggie platter with some dips and a whole bunch of vegetables. And if I buy them in bulk like this, it's just a guaranteed ready to go entertaining dish that's easy to put together and easy to serve to our guests. Side note, I'm not a huge tomato fan, but these ones are so delicious. So if you see them in your Costco, definitely pick them up. Picked up two bagged salads. This sweet kale bagged salad I absolutely love and it's so versatile. I use it a lot mixed with other mixed greens Beans, just to add a little bit more to the salad but I also use it on wraps one of the meals that I had planned out this week was tacos so I thought this taco bag salad would be great as a side dish or on top and it was delicious on top of the tacos I also picked up a bunch of fruits in this Costco haul. Fruits are really easy snacks for me to give Rose. They're also really good to use at breakfast time and they're really handy for on the go with a toddler. So I picked up some oranges, some blueberries, some cherries, some grapes, as well as strawberries. Costco is my favorite place to get fruit. In my last Costco video, I showed you guys that I organized everything by fruits and vegetables. Well, my husband has decided that he now wants to organize fruits and vegetables, whether they are low humidity versus high humidity. So he did a bunch of research and this is kind of how we're gonna try to organize. When you're organizing low versus high, basically what you wanna do is any of the fruits and vegetables that can lose humidity quickly, such as leafy greens or berries, you wanna put them in the high humidity drawer and then Produce that does not lose humidity, such as apples or cucumbers, something that's a little bit harder, you wanna keep in the low humidity drawer. I plan to get new labels made because you can see how my husband likes to label. Oh my gosh, I cracked up when I opened this drawer and saw them. <laughs> because this was a large grocery haul where we bought fruits and vegetables that didn't just fit in those drawers, I just kind of stacked them on top, which I know is not the best way to store these. I'm wondering, do you guys keep your fruits and vegetables in the packaging or do you store them another way? If you have any other organization tips for fruits and vegetables, definitely comment below and let me know. I'd love to hear them. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love milk. Like I have to limit myself how much I drink because I could drink it with every single meal. We store our milk on the top left shelf. So I'm just taking out the old ones and so that I can put the new one furthest back so that we drink the oldest ones first. And Rose doesn't take to milk very much. So we've been trying different kinds to see if there's something else she might like better, such as this almond milk. We go through eggs rather quickly because I do have eggs every single morning for breakfast. And I like to store my eggs in these egg containers. These specific ones I found at HomeSense, but I did find a link on Amazon for you guys for these as well and if you want ones that are not quite as big as this one bed bath and beyond has some really good ones too my only complaint is i wish these were clear but my fridge is white so they match so it's all good but these do help protect your eggs a little bit better they also if you had to double up your eggs on top of each other and we're stacking them they would work really well for that too i just store mine in this pull out drawer that we have in our fridge I stocked up on cheese this time. I freeze a lot of our cheese so that we always kind of have some in our deep freeze, but I picked up some bagged cheese. I also picked up some marble sliced cheese and then some Havarti cheese that we like to use on sandwiches. I did need one bagged cheese in the fridge and the other one needed to go to the deep freeze. I'm also gonna keep this marble one in our fridge as well, except I am later on, you guys don't see this, but I do end up cutting that in half and putting half of that in the freezer as well. I do like to keep sandwich meat on hand and for any time that we have soups or if I have my little nephews over, it's just a quick and easy snack. But I did have some in my fridge. I didn't need this one out. So we are going to take that to the deep freeze along with the cheeses that I had already put out. We actually hardly use our deep freeze. I would like to eventually get just a second like cheaper fridge that we keep in the garage that can store our excess food and beverages. But until then we have our freezer and it has like nothing in it. <laughs> 
For the meats that we were out of, we had ground beef burgers on our menu plan for this week. I also like to buy a lot of burgers when I buy them because it's nice to keep a bunch in the freezer for when we have guests or just quick meal ideas. I also needed to pick up some more ground beef. We use this in a lot of our meals throughout the weeks. I also picked up some fresh chicken breasts. I much prefer the fresh chicken breasts versus the frozen even though there's a significant cost difference. My husband sorted and put these in our freezer off camera, so sorry that's not in this video. I know you guys see these juices in like all of my vlogs and Instagram. I can't say enough good things about these juices. Uh, Rose was kind of getting a little antsy on our Costco trip, so I just gave her one to kind of tie her over. She didn't end up even drinking very much of it, but I did buy two of them this time, just like last time, because that worked so well and it did us really well for two weeks. I store Rose's juices like this in this plastic container. I just got this one at HomeSense and I just have it labeled. I like to store them in these containers because it sits on the top shelf and it's easy for me to pull down if I need to access the back of it. I also store any juices of Rose's that she kind of has on the go that need to go in the fridge before they go bad. Any overflow of juices, I'm just gonna stick on the second shelf so that they're easy for me to get to. A quick and easy snack for me is Greek yogurt. I really like this one from Costco because there is no vanilla in it, which is my least favorite kind of yogurt. <laughs> I have a second container like the one that I store her juices in and this is where I keep any sort of cold snacks that are easy to grab. So I keep yogurt in here. I also keep some cheese snacks which are great for on the go. I pick up these Kirkland bacon crumbles because they work for a lot of different recipes but they're also great on salads or nachos or other sort of snacks that we might have if we have guests over. This is my backup bag though so I just store it in my pantry. The other one gets stored in the deli section of our fridge. I use broth for a bunch of different recipes and especially when I make soups, I much prefer having the vegetable broth, but it was out of stock and has been out of stock for a long time. So I just picked up this chicken one to hold us over. I store our broths in our spice cupboard actually. I used to store it in the pantry, but I find it just kind of works better with the spices and that's kind of where I think it should be in my mind. We don't eat a ton of cereal, but if I'm gonna to gravitate towards the cereal, it'll probably be mini meats. I store all of our cereal in these containers that I also picked up at Costco and they just get stored in our pantry. We do have some other dried cereals that are really good as to-go snacks for Rose, but for the most part, we don't go through cereal very quickly. We sometimes pick up some nachos from Costco and we usually get these if we're gonna have a lot of entertaining coming up. These are a quick and easy snack to give to guests whenever we have people over. And when I was going to go put them away, I realized that where I wanna put them is completely disorganized. So I did wanna take the time to shuffle everything around. These baskets I got from Walmart and I really like that the front is see-through. They would work really well if you were to put these up on higher levels and that way you can see all of the ingredients that you have in this specific basket. These baskets I use as like our overflow baskets. So any excess cereals or crackers, juices, rice, anything like that goes into these bins. We were completely out of our unique pastas. We have been cutting back on our pastas so we are not going through these as quickly as we used to. The, this specific pack will probably last us, I wanna say two or three months with how slow that we've been using them. I love this specific mix though because of the tri-colored spiral noodles. Those are my favorite for pasta salads. And I again store them in these white baskets and these white baskets are from Dollarama. If you're gonna pick them up, just watch your sizing because I wish I would've just got all the big ones and not the smaller one like this one. The only fun item that I picked up were these Nerf dog toys. Just thought I would spoil my dog a little bit. But he needed some new play toys because he's actually been starting to use Rose's play toys and yeah, that's a no-no. So just decided to cut these all up for him. I gave him the treat one, filled it with some treats so that he could play with it right away. And then the other ones I store in our coat closet right off of our garage. He has a little basket there for all of his toys and all of his stuff. The last two items that we picked up were some more Kleenexes. I really liked the prints on this specific box, plus they were on sale. Rose was also out of her size four diapers, so we picked up the Huggies ones. These ones have been our go-to since she was like two months old, I think, just because Costco is significantly less cheaper than a lot of other places that we've looked at. 
both of these items get stored upstairs so I'm just gonna put them on the stairs so that I can put them away when Rose gets up from her nap and the Kleenexes we store in the linen closet upstairs diapers get stored in her room and I will do a tour or organization video eventually on that linen closet upstairs and that was everything for the Costco haul video guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch what is the number one item that you always get from Costco like if you had to pick your favorite thing what would it be comment below and let me know I know that's a tough question though because there's so many good things make sure you're following me on Instagram and I will see you guys in the next video bye